First of all, get your clip in the timeline, and then what you have to do is go frame by frame and cut it at the point where we have character movement. So for that, I'm going to go to the beginning and move forward frame by frame by pressing page down key. And you can see the movement, but we need specifically the character movement. So I'll keep moving forward until we see this exact frame here where the clothes move. So that's the frame we want. Let's press Ctrl Shift D to split the layer. After that, pretty much do the same thing for the next part. Find the next movement and cut the clip at that point and keep doing that until you reach the end of the clip. So I'll speed this process so you don't have to wait. After you're done cutting the layers, it should look something like this. Then let's scroll down and select the last clip at the bottom. Scroll up, hold shift, select the first clip, that will select everything. And then kind of drag the end point of any of the clips inwards to kind of shrink it. That will make every layer that we've split one frame in length, and that's exactly what we want. Let's now right click on any of the layers, go to keyframe assistant, select sequence layers, click OK. That will sort of organize the layers for us. Then right click again, select pre-compose. You can name this whatever you want, I'll name it clip and make sure removal attributes and adjust composition duration is selected. Click OK then. Then search for Twixture Pro in effects and presets and add it to the clip composition. Now depending on your Twixture version you might not have this in FPS as our FPS option and if you don't make sure that frame rate that's right here matches the exact frame rate of your clip down here. So if you do have it though make sure you select it. So I'm going to select it since I do have the option. For the image prep I'm going to set to delinearize and warping to the forward. You can see these settings and copy them if you want to, or try out different settings depending on the clip. After you've added and adjusted the Twixture, we can pre-compose the layer once again. I'm naming it Twixture, and make sure these two are selected. Click OK. Now we can enable time remapping. For that, let's right-click the layer, go to Time, Enable Time Remapping, or you can press Ctrl Alt T as a shortcut. Now we can make the clip as long as we want. I'll make it 3 seconds long, I'm going to move to 3 seconds, and I'll split the layer by pressing Ctrl Shift D. Then I'll bring the time remap keyframe and place it one frame after the end point of our clip. Then I'm going to drag and select both keyframes. I'm going to press F9 key, then go to the graph editor, right click, make sure in edit value graph. Select the first point and drag the vertices like so, then drag the other vertices downwards like that. Then exit the graph editor and enjoy the smoothness of the clip. As you can see, just like this, we've been able to create a very smooth and clean clip using Twixture Pro. If you enjoyed this quick tutorial, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more edits like this, also do let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.